This is why masculine black men should always be singled out. Meet the black freedmen men who were not only the first paramedics in the U.S., but gave the U.S. its first ambulance service to offer emergency medical treatment in the U.S. Prior to the mid-1960s, the U.S. medical system had yet to make advances in emergency care, while accidents and injuries were frequent. Ambulance service in the U.S. was typically provided by the police, while funeral homes provided ambulance service in the suburbs. Wait times were often longer for service in predominantly black neighborhoods, especially in the economically depressed section of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Then, 25 black men recruited from the nearby Hill District of Pittsburgh stepped up to receive training to help their own at what was known then as the Freedom House. At the time, the local media referred to residents of the neighborhood as the unemployables, high school dropouts, criminals, and more. They failed to mention that many of these men were veterans equipped to learn the skills. These black men implemented and completed not only paramedic training, but also a 32-week, 300-hour course that included anatomy, physiology, CPR, first aid, nursing, and defensive driving. They started operations in 1968 with just two ambulances, breaking medical ground by providing unheard of standards of emergency medical care for patients en route to hospitals. The men's service and work were so superior that the city contracted the black men of Freedom House and the ambulance service to handle emergency transportation in the downtown area and some of the predominantly black neighborhoods. They were also beginning to be requested more frequently by callers to the police. Based on records, these black men responded to almost 6,000 calls in their first year and transported more than 4,600 patients with a response time of less than 10 minutes. Despite the successes, the black paramedics still faced racism from hospital staff and white patients, as well as discrimination by some city governments. This did not stop their greatness and the impact of their work, as the ambulance-slash-EMT model designed and proven for use by the black paramedics was eventually adopted by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration as the official ambulance standard. This is what you see now. The EMS workforce today is majority white and around 8% black. Most people do not know that this profession began with black men and has roots in a black neighborhood in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. For black freedmen, there is nothing we have not impacted. Freedom House Paramedics Everyone.